In this video, we will teach you how to make this text animation intro in Wondershare Filmora. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go. Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. Go to the titles, drop the default title on timeline, double click on it and change the font to Montserrat Light, enter your word, change the font color to black, and take a snapshot. Again, double click on the text clip, select the first word, and change the font color to orange or any color and take a snapshot. Delete the default title from the timeline. Go to the sample color and drop the white color on the timeline. Zoom out from the timeline and increase the color duration to 10 seconds. Let's import the Vignette PNG file which you can download it from any graphic website for free. Drop the Vignette clip on track 2 and increase its duration. Shift it to track 3. Drop black snapshot on track 2 and increase its duration. Double click on it and under animation increase the scale to 400%. Decrease the opacity to 25% and change Y axis to 514. Then place the playhead at a 10 seconds duration and change X axis to negative 800. Go to the effects and drop square blur on track 4, increase its duration and change the size to 4. Go to my media, drop black snapshot on track 5, adjust its duration, place the playhead at the starting point, double click on it and change the scale to 50%. Change the opacity to 5 and X axis to negative 150. Then go to 9 seconds and change X axis to 150 and scale to 75%. Now drop the color snapshot on track 6. Increase its duration. Place the playhead at the starting point. Double click on it and change the scale to 50%. Go to 9 seconds and change the scale to 75%. Go to sample color and drop gradient 4 on track 7. Increase its duration. Double click on it and under the video tab, change blending mode to overlay and change the opacity to 25%. Now go to the titles and drop the default title on track 8. Increase the duration to 10 seconds. Double click on it and open the advanced panel. Delete text clip. Select line under shape option, increase shape's length and adjust its position like this. Copy the default title and paste it on track 9. Double click on it, go to advanced panel and change the line color to black, and then move it to the left side like this, a bit above the orange line. Select the default title, double click for the animation, add a keyframe at the beginning, then move to the end. Here we change the x-axis position to make it travel from left to right. Go back to the starting point of second default title, add a keyframe here, then at the end point to change the x-axis position and make it travel from right to left. Press OK. Last but not least, Go to the Effects tab, apply the Luma Sharp effect on track 10, and change intensity to 10. Now to see the final preview, click on Render Preview. That's it! Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!